Can you hold your water? Can you hold your nerve? This is Innuendo Bingo. Pleased to say that we have Andy Jordan of Made in Chelsea playing Innuendo Bingo today. Are you ready for this, Andy? I am indeed. How are you feeling? <laughs> like I'm about to get soaked. He's just seen the water's really cold. Yes, it is. Yeah. Imagine doing that with no top on. Imagine being that one-off towie on Tuesday. Yeah. Oof. It'd yeah. be worse, mate. Yeah. Did he choose to take his top off? Well, he didn't take much persuading. <laughs> <Put it that way. laughs> there was there was a public um, outcry for him to do it. All so right. I mean, there was definitely uh, people that wanted to see that. So if you want to go online to bbc.co.uk slash radio one, you can see the studio. It's all kind of sheeted up, ready with the, with the plastics. And Andy's here from Made in Chelsea and Chris... You ready for it, Chris? I'm ready, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for this one. Ready, Andy? All right, Cheers. so the trick is here, guys, to take a big sip of water. Don't hold back. Big sip of water. Hold it in your mouth, and then obviously when you hear the innuendo bingo, if you're susceptible to them, then the water will flood out over each other. Let us know if you're watching today. Eight double one double nine. Okay, first we cross over to BBC Radio Solent, and here is early breakfast presenter Sam Fraser. Now, I think she's just kind of saying the first thing that comes into her head, which at that time in the morning, believe me, can be quite dangerous. I've got loads of stuff booked. We're going to do um, Broadway, we're going to see Phantom of the Opera, um, we're going to a Red Sox match when we're in Boston, and I have every intention of getting one of those foot-long sausages in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I don't think it'll be a problem. I've been told I've got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. See, just not thinking what she's oh, saying there. God. It's the first. Oh. It's the first shot in the face that's the hardest, Andy. Lovely. First time I've taken a shot in the face. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It was first time for everything. Getting one of those foot-long sausages in my mouth. Uh, I don't think it'll be a problem. I've been told I've got a big mouth. Yep. A secret source at BBC Solent sent that to me. Now they're oh. going to be running around the office trying to work out who it was. I will never reveal that. <laughs> and now a recent favourite of ours from a show called Britain's Banger Races. Now, if you can take your water, please, lads. Mm -hmm. And it's rare that you hear commentary as vivid as this on a TV show. 17, Steve Taylor, he sees yep. Billy Brown! <laughs> and Taylor just goes straight through Billy Brown's rear end. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Come Come on. Go, Andy. It's fine. I'm Don't wrong. apologize. This it's a awesome. game. It's the, the game. first time in my life I've been allowed to spit in someone's face. It's good, isn't it? It could it be a new, new posh drinking game you do at Made in Chelsea. It'd be smack bottom and bed at home if I did this. Uh, <laughs> um, it's quite liberating, isn't it? Um, David and Hendon says, I'm loving this posh. Anyone to bingo? It's helped me with my dissertation. Um... Squeak in Aberdeenshire is watching, and Lewis from Southampton is watching. Okay, so more water, please. Straight through Billy Brown's rear end. <laughs> Sorry, I caught you out there. Okay, so next, brace yourself, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's another clip from National Treasure Mary Berry. She's always at it. Now, <laughs> this time. <laughs> This time, an unexpected idea from Mary. Here's what she likes to do to a nice bit of ham. Ready? <laughs> she is. Mazbez and her ham. I bet you've never fried Parma ham. It's pretty unusual to do that. And frying it makes it all crispy and it's lovely to come across. What's that horrible slurp at the end? It's lovely to come across. Everyone fine? We're all right. Mm. Robin in York was quite taken aback by that. Surprised you weren't. Oh, Mezbez. Now, over to the one show from just last night. And here's presenter Mike Dilger. <laughs> 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 Don't know why that's funny, sorry. Um, now, Mike has really seen something you wouldn't expect to see on a prime-time TV show like The One Show. But it did surprise me with Hannah. It's a wonderful thing seeing The V, but I shall never, ever again <laughs> look at it the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Both Katie and Jack spotted oh, that one on The One Show last really night. Yourself. It's a wonderful thing seeing The V. Mm, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's know if you're watching. Eight double number nine. It's really cold, cold, isn't it? Mate, yeah. Joe from Halton is watching this. Ben in Litchfield watching for the first time. Hannah in Southampton. Dan in Trowbridge. His, his break finished five minutes ago, but he can't stop watching. Okay. Over to Five Live Sports Extra next. And the 2020 cricket team from the weekend. Now, here's Owen Morgan explaining some of the more unusual techniques that his team use to prepare for the game. No, absolutely not. We've, we've been training with uh, wet balls the last week or so. We've been dipping them in, in buckets of water and still it couldn't compare to anything last night. <laughs> That's a great one. Scott in Sussex, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that one. That's it. I enjoyed that. We've been training with uh, wet balls the last <laughs> week or so. Mm -hmm. All right then, more water please. And another new clip from Lamming Live next, which is a gold mine of bingo. And here is Kate Humble, learning some very useful techniques on actual national television. Right. If you remember the positions I gave you last night. I do, and yeah. most of the viewers will never forget them. Yes, yeah. so I've just pushed the head back in. <laughs> it's coming with one leg back. Oh, man. What even is that? Oh, oh you really need to see the pictures that? of that, I think. If you remember the positions I gave you last night. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Kate Humble. It's coming with one leg back. Uh, Eleanor and Kenny and Inverness were watching that together at home and they learnt a lot on Lambing Life. It's just soaking down below. Yeah, it is. is it? Who's wettest? Um, Andy at the moment. Yeah. Andy, have you got a spare change of clothes? I was just being polite. I've been trying to avoid you. you got no, a no. Spare, no, you said you bought a spare T-shirt. Yeah, yeah right? I've got a shirt. No, don't avoid him. When it getting towards the end of the game, well, come on, get involved. Like, he's, he's getting involved, but it's all down below. Oh, Andy. That's it. That's the badger. <laughs> all right then, mate. Time for a posh one. Okay. Ready? <laughs> An absolute classic now from the Wally Webb show on BBC Norfolk. And I think the 2020 cricket team we heard from earlier may have taken some tips from Wally's show, as you're about to hear. Here we go. Um, and which uh, leads me on to a, a story, actually, about uh, the very much missed uh, Seve Ballesteros. I remember that when uh, you know one of the one of the great uh, golfers uh, of history. Uh, I remember that for, for good luck, his wife used to kiss his balls just before he played off. <laughs> <laughs> and that was for good luck. Oh, it's a great His one. His wife used to kiss his balls just great. before he teed off. Okay, two left. Right then. Now, this one is our favourite from it's Tuesday's bingo. When it was Topless Dan from Towie. It comes from BBC Radio 4. Ready? Mm hmm. And over on Radio 4, a bit of news that I was particularly pleased to hear. The first gay couples to get married in Britain are enjoying their first day of wedded life, excitedly twiddling their new rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, that. Excitedly twiddling their new rings. And finally... Oh, man. A favourite from the Vanessa Felt show on BBC Radio 2. you got a busy day ahead. Mm. <laughs> busy day ahead? I've got some big meetings after. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Vanessa Feltz on Radio 2. And here's V to tell us... <laughs> not the same as earlier. Here, here is Vanessa to tell us about the topic for her show on today's programme. Swallowing. That's the issue. The swallowing part. You just think, shall I swallow? And then you realise how lucky you are for the whole rest of your life that you don't normally think about these things unless you're really very unwell indeed. And you think, well, shall I swallow or shan't I swallow? Let me try not to for another few minutes. <laughs> Chris. Oh no! I just... <laughs> oh no, your hair. Oh. Right at the end as well. Oh, oh mate, well oh, played. Well. well, shall I swallow or shan't I swallow? Let me try not to for another few minutes. It's the Vanessa Feltzman. Get some every time.